A huge break in the case that sent shockwaves through the community of Portland. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm Rudy Trevino. And I'm Katia Uriarte. Police have a person of interest in the shooting of two young women last year. Molly Olguin and Christine Chapa were found in June of last year at Violet Andrews Park. Olguin died from the shooting. Chapa survived and she is still recovering from her injuries. And now more than one year later, Portland police have announced a break in the case. Bill Churchwell has been covering the story since day one of the investigation. He joins us live with more details in this case. Bill. It was last summer when the two girls were found just over this lookout spot here at Violet Andrews Park. Today we spoke with the Portland Police Chief Gary Giles about this break in the case. He confirms there is a person of interest. However, that person has not been charged yet. Now it has been one year since the police department, along with the help of other agencies, have been working to figure out who shot the girls, killing Molly Olguin and leaving Christine Chapa on a long road to recovery after a bullet shattered in her head. Tonight, the police chief says one of the holdups in this case is that they continue to wait for evidence that they have sent off to crime labs throughout the year. It depends because we have we have evidence that's been sent out to several different crime labs. Some of the labs take a little longer than others. Some of some of the labs uh, were just waiting in a line. Now, a sketch was released right after the crime of the possible suspect. As for this person of interest, the chief says he is not a danger to the community, but he could not confirm if that meant that this person is in jail. Now, the chief says that his department continues to look into several leads, several tips that come in and encourages anyone with information to continue to call police. Reporting live tonight, Bill Churchwell. Three news. Oh, as we're saying, huge break in that case. All right, thank you for that.